All right, YouTube, today we're going to play a cube draft. So let's load it up here. I'm pretty excited to play some vintage cube. I don't do this that often. So when I get the opportunity, I'm always excited. I'm a big fan of, um, I like drafting like the multicolor mush decks. All right, so there's a mox. So that's what we're going to take. Other cards in this pack that are pretty good. I like Mind Twist, and Vintage Cube especially. Um, Tarpet's good, Ragnus Signet's good, and Metamorph's good. <clears throat> but I don't really see anything else I really like in this pack besides two So I'd like to get back one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven cards in this pack I can take. Even this one's not bad because it shuts off Planeswalkers from your opponent. But we're going to take this Mox Emerald. Okay, so there's the tendrils, so we can force storm, or I can take this Orzhov signet and just take another artifact mana ramp card, which is probably what I'm going to take. Big Emerald Ghoul is kind of cool. Uh, I have some vintage cube decks where I really like Bob. Actually, I need to change my, I need to change this so that y'all can see all the picks. <clears throat> um, but we're going to take the Orzhov signet. I hope that we, what do we got? We can get one, two, three, four, and then either of these Planeswalkers. So we might get something back from here. But I'm going to go with the artifacts. Okay, so we can take <coughs> Karn, which is a four mana Planeswalker. It's colorless, so we can play ahead of schedule. Or we can take a Tundra. <coughs> Or Academy Ruins. That's all I really like here. Lotus Moon's okay. Regrowth, sorry. I think I'm going to take Tundra. Nexus of Fate's cool. I played some Nexus of Fate decks in Cube. But we're going to take this Tundra. Okay, so we can just take Brain Freeze and kind of go in. But Tendril's already came around. There's nothing else that I really like out of this pack, so I actually think I'm just going to take the Brain Freeze. I'm just going to hope that we get there. This is not a good way to to go about it, but... Alright. So I like Mystical's Tutor. It's just a good card in general. <clears throat> and then... There's not much else from this pack. I wouldn't mind it if, like, Brutality, Gear Hulk, Through the Breach, or Grave Titan Wield. But I'm going to take the Tutor for now. Okay. Marari's Wake is pretty solid, but that might wheel. We can take Is It Charm, Faithless Looting, or Repeal. <clears throat> Gotta figure out like what we're what we're doing here. I'm probably just gonna take Is It Charm. Because we have to black we have to um, backdoor into like a blue red control deck. Is it charm's pretty good. Okay, we can take Lotus Petal or we can take a land. And I think I'm just gonna take a Lotus Petal. Should take a land, but all right, well, there's a fetch land, so we're just going to take this because it catches, it gives our tundra. It's kind of a late Marsh Flats. <coughs> Here, we can just get this Creeping Tar Pit. You can see the Tendrils come to my own here in a second. I'll just take this trophy in case we need to kill something. Or actually, Bob might be pretty solid. Yeah, I'm going to take Bob. Because Bob is like 
Bob can draw us a lot of cards. We don't have any black cards, but we've got like a Wars off Signet. We got this with the Marsh Flats. <clears throat> So I'm looking for some draw sevens. Hopefully that tendrils comes around. I also need just mana. Um, I guess if we're gonna turn into like a control deck, we should take Tassiger. Put that on the sideboard. Hopefully we get something back here, like a Lotus Bloom or If we don't get the tendrils back, I probably shouldn't play Storm. Alright, I'll take this Orpheomancer. Take Urborg. And then Banishing. Okay, so we got it's good to know that the, the tendrils didn't come back. So there's probably someone else drafting Storm at the table. <clears throat> So that makes me not super excited about our our storm odds here. Okay. So I would really like Baral if we're gonna play Storm, but like DAC is one of the best cards in the cube. So we're just gonna play take this DAC. Opposition's nice, we can't really do a lot with it though. But hopefully this Baral comes around with this impulse. But yeah, it's a definitely just a DAC here. We've opened pretty well. We've opened DAC, which I think DAC is like much, much, it's very, very good in the cube. <clears throat> All right, well, there's our draw seven cards in, tap six lands. I guess it's just kind of moment of truth. There's nothing else in this pack that really calls to me, except like Misty, Skull Clamp, Toxic. I'm just gonna take the Time Spiral. Okay. <clears throat> so it's like I can take Probe, Mole Drifter, or Jace. We definitely know that there's someone else drafting Storm at the table. So I think I'm just going to take Jace. Then we should get something out of this pack. It's pretty solid. Because Jace is still getting the Storm deck anyways. Here there's nothing that we're looking for. So I can either take a land. Oh, I'm just going to take this land. Or I can take Charter Course. Okay, memory dart. Sack like memory dart. Each player exiles their hand face down and draws seven cards at the beginning of their next end step. Each player discards their hand and returns the cards exiled this way. So memory jar is just a storm enabler. Which I'm probably gonna take. There's nothing else here that I really like. Like gifts isn't that good. Yeah, I'm gonna take memory jar. All right, Lion's Eye Diamond is nice. But I think that we need... <clears throat> I think Ponder is better than LED. LED might come around. Because I haven't seen a lot of good Storm cards. So that person might abandon it. Okay. Well, this is what we're looking for, I think. So this is just another big payoff card. I wonder how this works with Brave Freeze. It probably triggers it. Whenever you cast, just copy it. And then it copies and it gets Storm. It probably doesn't get more Storm, but it should get the Storm. Okay. Well, mine's desire to pay off. 
There's nothing else here that we need. So now we just need mana. So hopefully that LED comes back. But I guess it's going to be hard to like use this LED. Like we have to go like time spiraling the LED. All right, we'll just take this this land here. Goblin Welder. Two target artifact player controls. Target artifact in that player's graveyard. If all targets are still legal, player simultaneously sacrifices the artifact. All right, I'm just going to take this Temple Guard. We can fetch it with Marsh Flats, and we might find a reason to play white. So it's Thief or Duretti. I kind of like Duretti. But Thief also. Yeah, I'm just going to take this Duretti. Like, we, it can let us make instant all artifacts, which we might find some synergy for. And it can kill some creatures, defend us for a little while. <clears throat> Thief's also pretty good, but. Just take this for the sideboard. Enlightened Tutor, now that we have two white sources, is a potential. Okay, the LED wield. Nice. Okay. So Turnabout enables just another storm, but that might wheel. If this wheeled, I'm thinking this is going to. Um. I can take Steam Vents to help with my mana. Or I can take Watery Grave to help with the mana that's fetchable. <coughs> or I can take Snapcaster Mage, which is kind of a good card. But I don't have anything in Snapback, so we're not taking Snapcaster Mage. I think I'm going to take the Watery Grave and hope this wheels. Because we're probably playing four colors, everything but green. And I'd like to just have good mana. Alright, there's nothing that we really want here. Which is what was that? Oh, Seeding Song. Alright, we'll take the Seeding Song. It's just mana. Even though Leoval, Leoval Wheels is like my favorite deck to draft in the cube. All right, there's four. So there's this signet. I don't even want this. I think I just want the signet. Or underground sea, but I think the signet's better than the underground sea. Unfortunately. Yeah, I'm just going to play the signet. Dismount, Fiery Conquest, Ravagers of War. Oh, we're getting nothing. I guess we'll just play this Bayou in case we get a green card we want to play. It's also fetchable. It's a little black source with Marsh Flats. It doesn't matter anyways. Okay, so there's another Signet. Which the Signet's probably just the other mana player. Whenever a player taps lands for mana. That player adds one mana of any type. Alright, I mean, we're going to take it. Mana player is not that great because it's kind of symmetrical. I think it's better than the Signet. Alright, there's a Time Twister. There's a draw seven. Hopefully this comes around. That probably won't happen. <coughs> so we're going to be able to like, power one of these out. Pretty quickly. Oh, there's Yagwell. But I don't really know what I'm doing with Yagwell. It lets me replay this, this. It's probably just good enough, but. So I'm just going to take it. 
the Enlightened Tutor might be getting too cute because um, like the only thing that we're looking for off of the Enlightened Tutor is like Memory Jar or just one of these Mana Accelerants. I guess Mana Flare now. All right, we'll keep it in there. We'll just take a summer cool for the sideboard. Okay, there's turn it out. <clears throat> I guess it also gets Thousand Year Storm. Oh man, we're doing it. We probably don't need this Temple Garden at this point. Or this bayou because we're not playing green. And like it's not like we have a you know a wooded foothills that can find this. Because we can get an Argles if we want to play against like the control decks. Fatal push for playing against aggro decks. Another card is the sideboard. Shifting fire conflicts. Oh, that makes sense. That makes sense, Harry. Yeah, you're you're right. Uh, this is the first time I've drafted this card. Okay. Okay, so we gotta get rid of these green lands because we're not doing anything with the green. And it's not like they fetch us another color. We've got one fetchable white source for our Enlightened Tutor that gets us Thousand Year Storm, Memory Jar, Azorius Signet, or either of our mana producing lands. <clears throat> Be careful driving. I kind of just want to put Bob in my deck or Arbor Bloodfast. Because our deck's pretty cheap. Like, we've got. A bunch of these low drops, we have some big drops, but we're going to look to go off pretty quick, and Bob can just get us some extra resources. Because this is nine. I need a lot more playables, actually. Right, because these count as mana. The Urborg's probably free in case I need more black. I guess I can just play, gosh, I could play 16 lands and I can play 17 lands and all of these. I do want early mana, so I don't want to like have that be choked. I only have one white card. I have two sources, so I probably don't need any more of that. I have a Lotus Petal. Okay, LED doesn't count as mana, okay. Um, red sources, one, two, I probably need another red source. Black sources, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <sighs> yeah, no, that makes sense. Blue sources, I've got one, two, three, four, nine, probably can go down, add one more. So I have a lot of mana, but I don't really have a lot of other cards that I want to play. All right, I think we're just going to do this. We're going to do it. All right. We have a bunch, we have effectively one, two, three, we have four draw sevens. This card's not that great, but it can either suit us, get us a bunch of mana, like if we crack an LED. I don't know, that's not going to work, because then we get rid of our hand. 
but it could give us a bunch of mana. It can also just like buy us time and destroy some of my opponent's artifacts. <clears throat> I'm excited. Yeah, but the rest of our deck's like, you know, pretty cheap. Alright. I am BD there, Harry. We're going to try to hold on to this because I don't really want to expose our way. I guess we have an Orzhov signet, so it doesn't really matter. Okay. Mystical Tutor probably gets us Brain Freeze at some point. All right. That also gets us Time Spiral. I should have taken a picture of my deck. I can play this Mana Flare. Yeah, we're not going to play the Mana Flare yet. No? Yeah, I should have taken a picture of my deck. I'm going to yield through this turn and probably end step Is It Charm. Because we can do something sweet where we, like, Yogmoth will have cracked Lion's Eye Diamond. Okay. One, two, three. You and have six lands. Oh my gosh. Probably actually I'm just discarding this mana flare and the swamp. Cute, yeah, it's still up, Arc Mage. Okay, so I can Mystic Tutor next turn for and EOT for Seeding Song. Play Lion's Eye Diamond. Seeding Song. Cast Time Spiral. Crack LED. That's probably what I want to do. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. So let's go. We're going to go for it. And if that doesn't work, we have Yogwell. But I guess... Yeah, I'm just going to go get Seeding Song, I think. And then we're going to just draw seven. Or at least hope to. Does it actually even do anything? Yeah, no, it does. So let me go. Can I just play my Yogwell? So I go Yogmoth's Will. Then I can. I should have played a Lamb. Then I can go Seeding Song. Mystical Tutor. Yeah, he is. I guess if I play Yogmoth's Will, they're going to counter it, and then my Time Spiral is going to resolve.
That sounds kind of loose, though. So let me go control. And then we'll just get blue mana. <coughs> wow, they didn't have that sweet. It doesn't appear we can do anything though. Three, one, two, three, four. Is that all of our lands? Okay. Oh shit. All right. So now. We play Mana Flare. We don't need the white. <clears throat> We're down like three mana now because I've messed this up. None of these do anything. Except I guess, oh, I can copy my ponder. No, I don't have enough mana to go play it and Yagmas well. Because this is six. Because if I play it, one, two, three, this is six mana, play it. I've got three mana left over. Yagmas will can't ponder because I've already made a land drop this turn, so we're just gonna shuffle. This was sad. Play this and go. Oh man, that was so sad. We fizzled. I guess I could have taken the thousand year storm. I probably should have just taken it. And then gone Yogwell into Ponder. Like playing Yogwell into Ponder probably would have done something for me. Yeah, that was probably loose. But who knows? If we hit a draw seven this turn, which we still have plenty of our deck. But it's not nearly as effective as it was. Play Jace Bellarin. Okay, they're a storm deck too. Alright, I'm gonna yield and go get some coffee. Okay, they're gonna have they have Thousand Year Storm with eleven mana. So if we'd have taken the Thousand Year Storm, we still wouldn't be able to go off last turn because we just bricked so hard on our draw seven. Which kind of sucks. Treasure Cruise, okay. So they get to draw their entire deck. But you only have four mana left, which is certainly enough. Because if they like brain freeze me, it's copied. Oh, they took my Bob. And that untaps all their mana. What a meanie.
9, 12. Kill me. So if my opponent, if we get a next turn, I'm going to crack pedal, go Yagmas well into pedal ponder. I don't think we're going to get a next turn, but let's just say that we do. Basalt monolith. This is good for us. I mean, them just getting mana doesn't really matter. Uh -huh. Field, cube on cube violence. Mind's Desire, okay. With eight spells cast. So we'll check out their deck and then we'll scoop it up here. Because they get two copies of this. My opponent is going off. I'm going to move my thing with Jigger back up here. Out of the chat. I forgot to do that. Now that we're done drafting. <clears throat> okay, Time Twister Seeding Song. Kind of a medium hit from them. They basically just hit a bunch of mana in a palindrome. So they have infinite mana with a time twister. So I just want them to like show me they can beat me. Because there's a chance that they break. Thousand Year Storm card. This is the first time I've played against this card in the cube. I think it's pretty sweet. Palindrome, Late Time Twister. All right, just show me. I want him to show me a way to win. All right, that'll do. Okay, so the Storm Mirror. I don't really know if we want anything out of our sideboard, to tell you the truth. I don't think we do. So we'll submit. We've got, like, we have some good cards in the Storm in the storm Mirror. Like, we have a Jace, a Bob, and a Dak. Probably don't really want this to ready. Probably could have boarded that out for, like, an Argo Bloodfast, I guess. If they're giving us mana. So Doretti can kill their fast mana, so we should go like that. Because like if we go like land mox bob, and then when they go like land mox something, then we go like Doretti kill your mox. It's basically like just a second copy of Dak. Man, it is snowing so much in Washington, DC today. Like, there is no... Like, everybody's probably going nuts out there. All right. This is what we're looking for. I think that's super great. What am I going to do with this tutor? Probably this tutor is just going to give me a seeding song. Like, we can go Seeding Song. Untap our lands. <clears throat> but we can't, we don't have enough mana yet. So we might as well just wait. All right, we're hitting the mana. I could get like a Mind's Desire with it also, and then Mind's Desire for two, but that seems kind of loose. So 
Apparently, I can go get Seedling Song right now, though. Play Seedling Song. But then I don't have enough mana to play Seedling Song and have the double blue. Because I only have single blue. So I need more mana. Okay. Well, that's, that's nice for the home team. So let's yield until next end step. So now I go get my Seedling Song. So now we just go season song, make mana, time spiral, and see what we do. Okay. We got a force of will. Cast. I should have made some. I'll make black mana off of this, I guess. Oh, the lands got untapped, so it doesn't really matter. I guess I'll make black. One, two, three, four. I can't tell if I got all of them, but I think I did. Okay, so now we should have it. Because we go cast, cast, just make sure that I leave the appropriate amount of mana up. If this doesn't kill them, at least we'll make it so that, yeah. All right. Both teams tried hard. Yeah, I think we're just going to keep it the way it is. I could bring in a fatal push to be able to counter my opponents. Um, counter what something my opponent does, but I think we're just going to go with it. And that Thousand Year Storm was nice. I do not think we can keep this hand, unfortunately. We, although we have so much mana in our deck. And if I can play Jace, then I'm going to be, be fine. I get two draw steps out of blue source, but we only got like... Yeah, I'm going to mulligan. Alright, turn two deck. We'll fix all of our problems. Hopefully I get to steal something with it. We had all the lands. This one. Yeah, Mana Flare go in the Storm Mirror. I mean, that's what lost me the game. Oh, nice. Give me that Signet, baby. And we hit a draw seven. Gas. This is why I think DAC is like a top 20 or so card in the cube. Like, just because the artifact mana is so... Like, my opponent's just going to lose. <clears throat> we play Jar next turn. And then we're just in, like, such good shape. Oh, man, they didn't even have a play. So this is choose me, target player discards two cards and draws two cards. We're just going to sift through our lands. If we hit a Lotus Petal, we can play this Thousand Year Storm. 
Is it worth just cracking the jar, probably? Playing jar? Or we just want to keep... I guess we can just keep developing our mana. Because, like, my opponent's not going to do anything for a little while. We have plenty of time. And if we, if we get rid of all the cards in our hand, this memory jar is going to be even better. And now we can steal another artifact if we need to. <clears throat> this is why Dak is just so sweet. Okay. So mana flare. Make mana. One, two, three, four. So eight, play jar. Crack jar had three. That doesn't seem that great. Let's do this first. One, two, three, four, five, two. So I could just... I think I'm just going to time spiral. I kind of just want to get rid of this Thousand Year Storm. Hey Tim, how you doing? I think I'm just going to get rid of the Thousand Years... Uh, probably just the jar. I guess it doesn't really matter. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, it just doesn't really matter what I do here as long as I keep the land because we're just going to time spiral alternatively I could just tutor one two three four actually I'm just going to play thousand year storm And then I'll just tutor EOT and then get something and then time spiral. Like probably just get more uh, more mana and then time spiral. How are you doing this morning, Tim? Oh, you're right. Nope, you're right. You are all you are all right. All of your brains are big. So do I want to get turnabout? Turnabout is just even, but seething song adds mana. So I think we want to get Seeding song. But I don't really want Thousand Year Storm. I want the Thousand Year Storm to do something. I guess it doesn't really matter. Because I don't really want the time spiral to go twice. Like there's not really any point to that. So maybe it was just bad casting this. I guess we can go get Enlightened Tutor. But we, we can, but we can't do anything in our upkeep. Oh, nice! I'm playing the challenge too. This doesn't really matter. 
could hit more mana between the spiral copies. You just mean float and float? Okay, that makes sense. So then I should just get this Seething Song. Because Seething Song, yeah. This is five mana. Always yield. Oh, I should have tapped this, I guess. So, okay. So, two, three. Is that all? I can never tell if this one's highlighted. It doesn't look like it's highlighted. Okay, so now I guess I just mine's desire. Because I've got I go lotus petal for sure. I can tutor. I can go mystical tutor, but I have to put the brain freeze on second. I want to loot. I want to loot after I resolve my mystical tutor, right? Oh, this is so difficult. So this lets me go get two. I'm not really doing anything with my Yogmoth's will here, but I think I want a tutor. So I get three tutors, but it doesn't really matter because they all just get. I should probably just get turnabout. Now plus my back. Target myself. Ditch these. Turn about myself. So same targets, same targets, same targets. Untap my lands. Lands, untap. Land, untap. Okay, land, untap. Now I sack this for black. Yogmoth will. Play this, play this. It's pretty much over at this point. Same target, same target. Just make my land mana here. Lands. Untap, we'll make some black mana. We don't even have to mine desire because I can just go mystical tutor for the um for the whatever it is, the brain freeze, because we're at eight storm. I guess I can just and it'll copy it all. Yeah, so that's what we'll do, and then we're good.
brain freeze. Okay. Oh, I can't draw it. That sucks. I messed up there. I forgot it goes on top. Whatever. We're going to mine desire for 72. So I guess we couldn't actually do anything with this because um, we're just adding to the storm because it would have shuffled it or wouldn't taken it away. So it didn't really do I, I probably could have done this in a better order, which is the moral of the story. So what do we got here? All right, there's Ponder. Oh my God. Are I gonna deck myself here? I guess I don't actually draw the cards, right? They get exiled. I'm gonna feel so stupid if I kill myself here. Okay, so now we just go brain freeze you. Always yield. All right, nice. We did it. Both teams tried hard. Um, view deck. Give me one second, let me just say yes. All right, that was awesome. Okay, I would like to play first. And we got that turn one Bob. Hang on one second. All right, we're going to keep, and then I'm just going to crack this pedal and play Bob. Mine's Desire plus Nexus. That's awesome. Now, I ain't, I ain't about that. That ain't my deal. There, Harry. I'm going to play Griff Stelver. Lawrence has been helping me out a lot. So. Don't kill this. Oh, man, if they have a discard spell, they're going to dismember my Bob. What a, what a jerk. Oh, we have to play that. All right, so this turnabout doesn't do anything. <clears throat> Probe me. I have nothing going on. Duress? No. Why is my opponent being a fun sponge? Uh, mystical tutor. Gross. I kind of want to just like mystical tutor EOT. One, two, three. Like I want to go like discard, discard, tutor for Yagmas will, and then play Yagmas will, and then get my Bob back onto the battlefield. And I think that's what I'm going to do. Hope my opponent's not a meanie.
Does this feel actually that's kind of mopey? It's kind of mopey. I shouldn't have done this. This was stupid. I could just go get a draw seven. I should have just gone got a draw seven. All right, I'm just gonna cast this. Cast. I just wanted to get more resources, but that's kind of dumb in the face of like probably Mr. Rock deck. My mana, I probably can just play this Urborg. I did this again in the wrong order because I exit my time spiral. We're all over the place. That's okay, we've still got one draw seven left. This is the old storm problems here. Yeah, oh man, I didn't do this. Yeah, see, I messed this all up. Which is like my fault. Like I just don't know how to play storm decks through disruption. Like I'm, I, I have a hard enough time when my opponent just doesn't do anything. All right, that's not bad. Yeah, that would have been better. But we can figure something out next turn. Because we can, like, flash back our tutor. Um, we can flash back our tutor, draw cards, and then we can go get a draw seven. So now this stack's a problem. So, yeah, like, now we're just going to go... Get the tutor, go get time twister, go up with that, draw time twister, and then figure it out from there. Excuse me. Get that F6 going on here. Pack rat. All right. Should I cast this? Probably, probably not. If I hit a land, that's probably just better. Minus three cast, Mystical Tutor. Probably that was also, I mean, I'm going to cast, so I don't want to be down mana. So let's go get Time Twister. It's good thing I didn't play it, too. Um, <clears throat> and I've already, I haven't played a land, so I could just play this Bob, or I could play the Signet, which I kind of like playing the Bob. And then next turn... We hopefully get to do something cool. Like, we can make a bunch of mana. Or we can play Thousand Year Storm, pass, and then hopefully be able to untap. We we'll probably won't be able to untap with this Jays, but. Probably should have just play the Signet because of removal. Oh, okay. Because, like, our Jays is going to die. This has not been expertly piloted. I wonder if it's worth trading my Bob to keep Jace alive. It's, I don't think it is. Should 
shallow grave. Sure. There's haste. Oh my gosh. So six. I might lose my planeswalkers. Why did the rat? Why didn't the rat before time twister animator five guarantee you draw a card? So one two. The problem here is that I'm losing everything. But if I have the thousand year storm going and Bob, is that worth it? Is like Bob better? Is Bob better than Dak or Jace? Bob's better than Jace. Is Bob better than Dak? That's what I think. Because Jace is whatever. Any order. They have like an abrupt decay to follow up here. They could have discarded a card to keep a pack round around. Ooh. That's not that bad. I mean, they're going to take my Thousand Year Storm, but I can dig. And if I dig into my last draw seven, then we're, we're kind of in good shape. Though it kind of sucks that my time spiral is is gone. That was definitely a super punt. My time spiral being gone sucks for me. I definitely tossed this here. This is not my forte. I can kill it and get it back with the ready if I need to. They make another wolf. No moral blossom, sure. Exile the Sphinx. Okay. So now we just need something to do. Depths fire, let me check it out. Oh, shoot, no, we're good. How did you win with this deck? It's like it's so fair. I guess you have a moat. You just dirtled, no power. Okay. So, one, two, three. Play, get this back, play land, play Seething Song, play Thousand Year Storm. Which I kind of like. Ugh. What am I enlightening tutor, enlighten tutoring for? Probably nothing. So this card's not good. So let's get rid of this. And we can get rid of this Orzov Signet. We go play to ready. Sack this, get this back, play this land, Seething Song out, Thousand Year Storm. That's also so lovely. We, we can keep this for like a cryptic command. One, two, three. Yeah, we're going to just use that cryptic command. So let's go like this, ditch these, play this. Minus on here. Choose target artifact or creature. Sack this. Play turnabout to tap their team. And then hopefully we get something good next turn. Yeah, this is not my forte, but it is fun. Moat's like okay. 
Like every every good every good cube deck has a disenchant effect. And then we're gonna hope to dack into something insane. They get like tutor for a utility creature. I definitely like toss this game three or four times. How are you doing this morning, Andy? Oh yeah, so Tim, this is what this is what I'm gonna play today. I'm just gonna play some Delva. I really like this deck. I think this is pretty solid. Okay. Also, we do nothing. We leave Nexus of Fate after that. That's fine. Yeah, I mean, I'm a, I'm a big, I'm a big Nexus of Fate fan. What are you going to get? What are you going to do to me? I am not playing the mocks today. I've only got like 20 points. There, Dito. G Daddy. We're gonna play Legacy Challenge. I'm not gonna be able to stream it though. So they ditch, reanimate. Yeah, I've only got like. Yeah, I got 21. And I think it's I think it's 35, or you have to pay to get into it. I don't know. All right, so beginning of combat. I could like make it so they can't play like a gristle brand this turn, but they gotta to try to win next turn. Which is gonna be pretty hard considering I've pissed away all of my resources already. What do we got here? Creature, tap. Don't decay. Don't abrupt decay me, dude. God damn it. Why are you gonna do that? Why do people have to do stuff like that? Recurring nightmare. Into a freebooter? Oh man. We're just getting like ground out here. I would just be aware and ready for the Phoenix deck. I've got triple surgical, and the Phoenix deck seems to be more of a fair deck anyways. All right, well, we can use our LED to crack to get this back and then just play Thousand Year Storm, which honestly might be our best bet. Our best bet might be to play Thousand Year Storm, rip, and then get into it. They can just Recurring Nightmare again into Survival. Yeah, I kind of just want to play my LED, sack it, get this, one, two, three, and then just play this and pass. So play LED. Destroy this. Get rid of this Lion's Eye Diamond. Cast this. And then, like, maybe we draw something that works next turn. Maybe they just, like, slam Bristlebrand and hope. Because the Thousand Eyes Storm is already in play. If we can do a Seething Song, Seething, Seething Song into a bunch of, like, if we can hit something and get a little bit of value off this Is It Charm, we might make it. You know, make a token, recurring nightmare, sack the token. Oh my god, they just work. God, that sucks. I think it's pretty solid. Okay, so now Bristle Brand's in play. So, Emrakul, the promised end. I 
It's it seems like a fair deck. Like it seems like more of a fair deck than anything. Alright, draw two, discard two. Because chat, there is no tomorrow. I don't think we have any outs now. Nope. I'm not, gonna, I'm not playing through a Gristle Brand. I have more respect for myself than that. All right, so we should be able to beat up on this deck. I think. It has, it has some good disruption, but it also looks like it's pretty slow. Um, I could bring in a Blood Fast to grind a little more and cut like a Mana Flare, but we kind of have to be fast. I'm going to just cut the Mana Flare. Like, if we have a bunch of extra cards, I think that we can get away with that. I guess we can bring in this ultimate price, too. And then maybe cut, like, a land so we don't flood out. Yeah, let's go like this. Wow. What is this? Apparently this won the Nerd Rage game 5K and Modern in 2019. This is like blue black. It's like an Eldrazi deck, Elder Deep Fiend. That's what I'm talking about. I can res I can respect some Elder Deep Fiend. Can I play the challenge today. Robot Stompy. Oh, okay. All right. Keep. I guess we ponder on one. We can go get Tundra. This doesn't fetch us a, a red source. Because we passed the Bloodstained Mire. Or the, the Badlands. You just LED plus Time Twister on turn one. That seems that seems a little loose. I shouldn't have done it like this. I should have I should have stacked it so I drew a land. Oh, you wouldn't do it. Okay, I get it. I get it. I get it. It's a good start. Yeah, you wouldn't do it on turn one now. Yeah, see, I should have stacked this different. Okay, we're not getting discarded at least. Man, dude, this deck is this deck is beating me up. At least we're both gonna run on nothing, so hopefully. I'm gonna ditch this island. Or I'll probably just swap. It's literally out of the veil. I'm just going to put this squeeze on me. Solemn, you got it. You got it, dude. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I was confused for a second there, Harry. Okay, so I guess we're just going to pitch island. Then we're going to go turnabout, time twister, crack LED for blue. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to end up doing here. Oh, I to play time twister. All right, we get this. Living death.
If we had a tutor here, it would be nice because we just get more mana. Does that do anything? One, two, no. So we're just going to untap our lands, play LED. Untap, cast his Lion's Eye Diamond. Oh, that didn't do it. I guess it only increased our storm, but. Creeping Target does answer Liliana, but like, are we are we winning that game? What do I want to make? I want to make black mana off of this, I think. So I should hit Control. I probably should have done that. You're right, Tim, but we're, we, we've gone too far. Okay, so we can go this. I don't think I've played a land, but I can't play Thousand Year Storm. So we'll just play our Memory Jar. Stop in my upkeep. Get LED. Maybe play LED Crack Memory Jar. Yeah, I think that's the play. Right? Look at this. We have plenty of black mana. We're going to use one of our blues. Yeah, right? Like, we're just going to go sack. We're going to go get LED, crack this, play LED. Sacrifice my new guard. Each child exiles their hand face down and draws seven new cards. Whoa. Why you gotta do that to me? I think we should draft a different deck. Do I crack this now? This doesn't work like that, right? Each player discards their hand and retains their hand. Okay, no, so it's not worth it. All right, so now we're not thousand year storming. We're not doing upkeep shenanigans. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then play this tap land, discard this probably. Then hope my opponent doesn't have anything. There's nothing we can tutor for that really does a lot for us, unfortunately. Because we can just tu the only thing that we can tutor for is mana. So if we draw like a ponder, that'd be a pretty sweet draw. Alternatively, we can just kind of hope that we hit. A hit well, no, because we that doesn't ma that doesn't matter. This isn't coming in. We got stuff to do with our mana. I can't beat that. Nine. Yeah, I agree. Philly boy, I need a time spiral. Oh, they got a recurring nightmare. Are you serious? Ugh, don't recurring nightmare me, bro. Oh. Man, this has been rude. Time Spiral is still good. Wait, one, two, three. We get to Time Spiral for two. No, Time Spiral is not the one that does that. Horrors off Signet. Two, four, six. I guess we might as well play the Signet. Do we have to block next turn? Two, four, six. Your opponent wanted it more. 
one, two, three. So this has become three, five, seven, three, five, seven, eight. So we have one left. So I guess I should just kill this Garrett, play this Orzhov segment, and pass. I guess they have Quagmire. The Quagmire kills me. All right, we're gonna we're gonna hope my opponent doesn't see it. Tie spiral's still good, right? Because this is two. It doesn't matter. It's adding three points anyways. Nice. My opponent just manhandled me here. All right. I think we could have won the first game. I think I tossed the first game. <clears throat> oh my gosh. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. We hit Time Spiral. Man, let's see what we were to hit off Time Spiral. So we would have drawn seven cards. Let's just assume these seven cards ones we were drawn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They weren't even that good. Like one, two, three, four. This would have been five. So we would have hit them for 15 cards. Yeah, I wouldn't have done anything. All right. We, I mean, we probably we might have gotten a better hit because we shuffle in the cards in our graveyard. But it just sucks. The time spiral was right there. All right. We could just like value the one of the thousand year storm just to get it out there. We could have just. I don't really hate that. Bring monolith. Grim monolith in the signet doesn't seem that good. Maybe you just could have played the signet and then had the grim monolith. Yeah. That seems loosey goosey. Yeah, so next turn I think I'm just gonna oh ancient tomb. Jace. What do we got upon it? Yeah, this tap monolith. Seems pretty useless, unless you have like a synergy, like if you're going to tinker it away, I guess. Wow. Just stone rain. What a tilt. Into DAC, which would have just been insane. DAC's still going to be... I mean, as long as our opponent doesn't like do anything to us for a little while... Grand Dynamo. I'd like that. My opponent's on the brown town here. <clears throat> this isn't fetch us a red source because we didn't pick up. We passed the bad land. Okay. What are you doing to me, bud? Gilded Lotus.
God, if we rip a red source, just Thief of Sanity, that's a problem. But if that's it, we kind of we, we kind of have what we need to win. All right, we're gonna just gonna jam this uh, memory jar and pass. I guess we might as well just get another blue source that doesn't hurt. Little does my opponent know that they could hook me up here with a. Uh, they could hook me up here with uh, putting something in my graveyard, and I could rip a Yogmoth's World like a professional. If we do a land, I'm just going to time spiral, and then we still have another draw seven. My opponent only has two cards, so. <clears throat> We can just crack another seven here to like look for something, and we don't mind picking these cards back up anyways. So you hit LED and mountain. All right. You have a counter spell. Is this real? My opponent have a counter spell. Come on. Come on. Don't do this to me. Spell color doesn't do anything. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Okay, so land, Dak, Steel Gilded Lotus. They tap it. I can Enlighten Tutor, then Dak Plus, which I kind of like. And then we can crack this and go for it again. So let's go Enlighten Tutor. Probably for LED. Yeah. I could get Mana Flare. But I don't really want to do that. We're going to get this LED. Land. Oh, I already played my land for the turn. No. That's all right. Play this Jace. <clears throat> now nah, I feel stupid. I'm going to save this Mox for the Storm Count. But like next turn, we can play, we can play Dak. But we could just get run over here by something here. And now they get my LED because of this thing. Ugh. I forgot I played a land. I had, I had to rip a land two times spiral. What a tilt. It is nice that we have, do just have a draw seven chilling out here. Where's the face down card? Oh, it's right here. So they have two. Hopefully they didn't hit like a you know a payoff card for me. Tide Hall Scholar. Ugh. Why are you going to do this to me, opponent? Why do you have to beat me when I make bad plays? Why can't you just let me make, let me make bad plays? Um... Is there any merit to sacking this? I guess if we hit LED or hit Yogwell, we want to, so. Do 
that shadow is in the cube. Sad. No, this storm is too complicated for me. There, Nick. All right, I'm gonna sack this because we have a we have a Yogwell. And then we're gonna get the cards back. It gives them more more cards to play with here, but whatever. They're gonna dismember my Jace. Hopefully they haven't hit my Yogwell. Now we discard these. Hopefully they haven't taken my. I guess we can upkeep. No, I got. Well, hang on. We can turn off auto yields. I can tutor for Yogwell now, assuming they haven't hit my Yogwell. All right, you got it. Okay, so now put this on the stack. Let's see what they took. Okay, so I don't have Brain Freeze in my deck anymore. So they grab my Brain Freeze. So that's my only way to win. So we should just scoop it up. No, the Brain Freeze is right there. Okay, so let's get this Yogwell. We get our hand back. Yeah, I, I know. I missed it for a second, but we're good. Just missed it for a hot second. Okay. So I likely have to win this turn. So we're definitely casting this Yogwell. The question is, what else am I doing? So Yogwell won. Memory Jar. LED. We've got diamond, we got petal, so one, two, three. I can is it charm? I can then go. Ugh. Yeah. I just want to make sure I don't bottom out on mana, but I've got the, the Ogwell to do that. So Turnabout makes mana. Okay, so these are whatever. I don't want this. I don't want this signet. Okay, so Azorius signet, discard. Play. I need to make it so I have double blue so I can turn about and untap my lands. So play pedal, cast, cast. So I have to turn about. Before I even, I haven't even thought about what I'm doing next, but. This is the first thing I've got to do to have a shot here. Land, untap, five. They only have 14 cards. So I mystical tutor for um, mystical tutor for brain freeze. Is it charm into the brain freeze? And then cast some spells, and then we're good. So tutor for brain freeze. Azorius charm. Discard, discard, LED, and we got it. Yes. All right. I did not think we were going to win that game. Probably shouldn't have won that game, but whatever. And we're just going to submit because this is how we do it. Uh, this hand's not very good. This hand's better. 
Dax just awesome. Which got that turn Uno Coalition Relic. You got it. So I'm tutoring for a way to play Dak next turn. Alright, that's gonna let us play Dak. So let's just go. I wanna keep the lotus petal on top. So I'm just gonna go like this. We're gonna Dak steal this coalition relic next turn. Oh. Man, why did they do that to me? They just have to take this deck. Yeah. I'm going to leave this in my hand in case they, well, what are they more likely to have? They have O-rings in their deck, so I'm going to leave this in my hand. Well, that deck would have been sweet there. Maybe I probably should have boarded in my Fatal Push. Yeah. It just would have been nice to be able to deck this turn. I'm a big fan of Dak stealing that coalition block. Tilt. Okay, so we're drawing the brain freeze. And like, we're gonna be able to get a free draw seven in two turns. I guess I should turn off auto yield. I guess if they want to take my brain freeze or something, they can do that. What do you got? Thief sanity? Sure. And now we just put jar on the table and hopefully that does it. Blue. Pass the turn. So I guess our best draw next turn is Lion of Eye Diamond. Like if we can hit an LED, that's what we want. We don't have to crack this right now. Like we can just hold. They're making a green mana though, so I guess it doesn't really do anything. We just want to hope they don't hit. They're not going to hit brain freeze, which is nice because we we have that in our hand. They hit two lands. Yeah, I think we just go play this, play our land. Pass the turn. Is there any spell card? Okay. Then we gotta go for it next turn. So I only have one card. Plus whatever they hit off of what we what we do. Or our top card. God, if we could have gotten that deck down and stolen that coalition relic, that would have been so sweet. What do you got, my friend? Yes, just tap your mana on your main face so I can try. They're gonna time twister me? Wow. My opponent just gave the storm deck a draw seven. Like, you gotta you gotta have to kill me here, man. I should have Nah, it doesn't matter. Brain freezing them doesn't matter. That was wild. 
feel like just YOLO in that time twister was not good. So I think we're just going to start off with time spiral. Sure. You got it, man. You got it. Hopefully they don't have like a spell pierce. One, two, three, four, five, six. And oh, we didn't hit anything. Oh, that was sad. Okay, they recall them. They recall me. Okay. Hit here. Do play this, and we're just dead as a doorknob. All right, we're gonna board in our fatal push for the next tournament for the next round. Or maybe we should just go like full in here. But I think being able to push like a tight hollow skull is important. We can cut like a random slow aspect of our deck. Probably like this mana flare. They're already doing big things with their mana. Nah, whatever. We're just gonna go. We're just going pedal to the metal. <clears throat> Nine oh six. So I think we're gonna have time for one more after this before the legacy challenge starts. I'm not going to be able to stream the Legacy Challenge today, though. I would like to play first. And, yeah, we're going to keep this. This is a hand where we might like end up tutoring for mana at some point. Because we already have access to our LED. Yeah, we're probably just going to tutor for like. For like a mox. Yeah, I'm just going to tutor for mox on my upkeep. Play it. Play LED. Time Twister. I could also just get Mana Flare. I kind of like Mana Flare with all of our um, and then we can do that next turn. Yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna play Mana Flare. Like a one two have four lands, and I can go LED Time Twister. What is this? Okay. So now we have to ask ourselves if it's time to YOLO it up. Yield two this turn. So now I have to figure out if it's time to go for it. I would love to draw mana. I could draw like a piece of mana that would be great. Bob, one, two, three, five. Mana flare, lion's eye diamond. So I can just play. Play mana flare, Bob, LED, then time, look to time twister next turn. But I don't really want to play. I mean, my opponent's already got a million mana, so whatever. 
I'm gonna play this. I could just not play the Bob either. I could just go Bing, have four mana, one mana, four mana with a draw seven. Four mana with a draw seven doesn't quite seem enough. Or I could just play Bob. Now nah, we're going to go for it. We ain't playing this to not go for it. So. We could do it all. Yep. I'll be right back. Let me grab my mug for coffee. Then I think I'm just going to go play the LED and then pass. Probably shouldn't have played the LED because of O-Ring. And then, like, whatever, dude. Not much, just Cuban before the challenge starts. We're going to hope that we, we, we get there. We're up a game. We're going for the going for the three, the two one. Yeah, you have four million mana, whatever, dude. My opponent has time twister of their own. Council's judgment. Okay, what do you vote for? Okay. I will vote for the mana player as well. The mana player has not been that good. Oh, I was worried about, I mean, this turned up very bad, but I was worried about um, whatever it is. I was worried about Tiny Hollow Scholar, but they're just going to take my Time Twister. So, yeah, I was stupid. I was a big dumb dumb. Yeah, I was a little choked, so I wanted I wanted to get it out there. And they already had like a trillion mana. All right. YOLO. Um, tap this. Tap this. Tap this. Yeah, I shouldn't have played the LED. Y'all are right. So how much mana am I off? I guess I can play Dak. I can attack first. Then I can play Dak, steal this. One, two, three. And then I can play an Orzhov Signet as well. So I'm just going to attack because I'm going to draw seven anyways. I don't want them stealing my win conditions. Yeah, we're going to take this Lotus for sure. They used it. Okay. And we've already played a land. 
yield through this turn. So we're going to have to hope fade them hitting our brain freeze. So they hit our brain freeze, we can't win. We just actually can't win. Let me grab some more coffee, I'll be right back. Alright, they killed my deck, which is nice. So now we know that that's still in our deck. Grand Dynamo. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we're probably just going to start with Time Spiral. Like, I don't think I'm going to play this jar. Though I could. I could just tap all of these. Whoa. Wow. All right, Lava Claw and Bob Beats. That's the plan. Oh, I can just tap on my opponent's lands. Yeah, so now we're just going to shoot this, tap my opponent's lands in their upkeep. Can I get in? One, two. So, is it Charm? Thank you, Brandon. Yes, yeah, so I'll just kill this now while they're tapped out. And animate. No, we can't get in there, but we can upkeep, tap their lands. Then we'll draw two cards a turn with Bob. You guys remember how sweet, how much better shape we'd be in if we had, uh, if we had um, and more mana, we had that LED that we could have gone done, done more stuff next turn, last turn, tap. All right, Lava Claw is going to do it for us. I got two shadows. Visions, four fetches on the play. Yeah, sure. What were you playing against? Did you know? Coalition Relic, sure. Yes. So our best draw is probably Yagwell. Because Yogg will lets us Time Twister. No. Don't take my Bob. All right, this Lava Claw is going to get feisty. First, we're going to ponder. Draw seven. Didn't know. I ended up in Tron. I actually would have won if I drew anything but three. <laughs> Are we in the market for any of these? Like, killing their mana at this point doesn't matter. I think we're just in the market for draw sevens. That's not a draw seven. Dude, this lava, lava man is going to make it happen. Everyone said you were the worst man land. You're number one in our hearts, Lava Claw. <clears throat> so what do we have left in our deck? We've got we've got Time Spiral. So we don't really have any good. Like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So if we hit, like our, our good draws are Tudor, Yogwill, uh, Mind's Desire, I guess. Jace is decent. 
because Jace is gonna let us, you know, with one turn get back in here. <sighs> this is the one that kills something. All right. All right, so we got one turn. Thought it was color sweet. All right, ready? Can we Yogg will? One, two, three. All right, Yogmoth will off the top, baby. Tilt. 10, 12. And this is gone. The beats. All right, let's put this up here, stop.